nobody should be deciding who is good enough or not good enough. I think the games and uh, competition should decide itself who is good enough, who is not good enough. Every year we had chance to, to play more and more. Like last, last year it was South Africa. Uh, then this, this summer we are playing Italy, this November we are playing Wales again. So I think it's coming more and there is more interest from, from the other teams too. If you compare this to the old times, it's better. So we get more opportunities to play. But it feels like, um, I don't know if, uh, if I should say this, but it feels like we're getting these kind of opportunities because we've been talking about this so much and now it's like, okay, you're going to play two games and be quiet. That's enough. But in reality, if you want to improve, two or three games a year is nothing. Usually we play just on the World Cups. Afterwards, we had like one game in summer, one game in autumn. Our wishes are very clear. We need more, more, more playing, playing time against the tier one countries. Yeah, I think I, I think everyone's aware of that fact right now that we, yeah, Georgia, if we need to improve as uh, as, as rugby as as country, yeah, we need to have that games and I think we are having it more so we at the moment we can be happy but it could be better to to be maybe playing potentially something like Six Nations or anything like that. Yeah Italy's been there since 20 years already or 21 years and uh, despite they, they lost lots of games during that time you can see their level. They have really good franchise who's playing Pro 14 uh, challenge Cups, so yeah, the, the level is pretty high still. So yeah, we are just for hoping to, to be there one day or g maybe get an opportunity and try to prove something. REC, uh, it's a good comp competition actually. It's growing every year and we could see this year it's been a bit t tough for us. But yeah, if it could be any, any, anything better, yeah, we, <laughs> we wouldn't say no. <laughs> it has to be, he has to have, I don't think it must be six nations, it could be eight nations or seven nations or something. They could work out something, 100% they can. You must play against the stronger opposition to get stronger. That's why every time when we have just opportunity, we have to knock on a door and <laughs> hey, hi, hello, we're here, we need more, we can more, and we'll do that. If the road rugby heads want, want us Georgia, not only Georgia, teams like us, tier two nations, to improve, we, we have to have more regular games. Rugby has to be uh, more white and more, more countries has to opportunity to participation, uh, participate uh, on, on this process. Uh, rugby is not only for 10 or even 20 countries. We, every country who plays rugby should be interested and we have to, we must be more open, we must drag everybody, all the other countries in to make them play, not opposite. That's the thing I don't understand, that's the thing what I don't like. It's like it's one circle which is closed and then everybody else is staying outside of circle and if this happens, rugby is never going to get as big as the other sports are. So I don't understand that, I don't like that. There is only one tournament in rugby anybody in the world has opportunity to participate, that's the World Cup. Except that, is that, is that you, are, you are there and you cannot go anywhere, anywhere else. For example, in football, there is a Europe Championship every two years or three years, or I don't know. There is a Europe Championship, so if you win something, then you get a chance to play against bigger teams, or I don't know, Georgia could play against Spain or uh, France, I mean in football. But in rugby, it doesn't happen like that. So I don't like that. It should be, it must be more open. A few years ago that we knew that there was talks to, to create Georgian franchise. And then we, was, we were thinking that, okay, we're going to create Georgian franchise. We're going to play in the league. We're going to, if we win that league, then we're going to play in the Challenge Cup. If we win the Challenge Cup, maybe we'll play in the Champions Cup. But they just close that. You have no opportunity, you just have to play the same teams. Doesn't matter if you win a hundred times or a thousand times, nothing changes. How unfair is that? That's, that's very unfair, that's even funny. Now we're playing in the Black Lion, 
We won our championship, we call Super Cup. It's the new first time we played. But what happens next? Nothing. You just, next year you play the same. We don't get a chance to play Challenge Cup. We don't, obviously we don't get a chance to play Champions Cup. How disappointing is that? You know, that saying, no one is too busy, it's all about priorities. So it's just that somebody can tell you like, nah, you know, the, the Pro 14 or I don't know, that's something. Challenge Cup is uh, too many teams and we cannot afford to add any, any more team. And then they tell you no to you. And next year you see like some other teams. South Africa, obviously, they're very good teams. They deserve to be there as well. But some stage you deserve it as well. I'm not saying that don't put them in, but work out something else so everybody could participate. But don't tell me, me no and then drag somebody in because you think that I'm low level or you think that I'm not good enough. We never had that. We never had that, that opportunity. Uh, we still fighting, you know. We still just watch our games. We need or less, and we will show us what we can do. And I absolutely believe in that situation which we had at Georgia and which bad times we had. You know, uh, we still we still play the rugby. Everyone knows Mamuka Gorgodze, you know, Gorgodzilla. Do we have ideas where he was training first, firstly when he came with me, you know? He was training on the candles, you know, without electricity, without nothing, just running in the mud and... That's our reality. We can survive, survive everywhere, but we need the oxygen, no? Without the oxygen, no one can survive. Nobody should be deciding who is good enough or not good enough. I think the games and uh, competition should decide itself who is good enough, who is not good enough. If you, if you let me to play against everybody and I lose, it's obvious that I'm not good enough, yeah? But if you won't let me to play against everybody, I'm talking about club level or international level, you cannot decide, you cannot tell me that. If, you would, if people would say that to this Argentina a few years ago, not few, like 10, 20 years ago, that you're not good enough, you're not good enough, how would they, how would they grow? How would they be, become better? Would, would they do that the same if they wouldn't have enough opportunities? Never, no way. So that's a very good example how countries are not so good that people think not, not so good in rugby. How can they improve and improve quickly? And how can they beat the best teams in the world with a huge history? So once again, Every country should have enough opportunities to play this sport and not other way. I think firstly we have uh, something in our genetic rugby is our game, definitely our game. Second, I think uh, anyway do we have a, uh, do we have a just uh, opportunity to do something, it doesn't matter, we still training, still want to win, our, uh, our targets are always very high because our supporters, our, our people who are supporting us, you know, never will give us uh, to relax, you know. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, we have our uh, schedule, we have our um, targets, we have our wishes and I think if you have a more opportunity, Georgian rugby will grow up. I definitely believe that. I think year by year we're getting more professional. Year by year um, our team is getting more dynamic. So if you, if you see and look and compare year by year, I think we are getting better with the handling stuff. Our tries are, are more interesting. It's not only like force tries, I mean, moles and scrums and stuff like that. We get into, we're starting to play pretty rugby as they roll rugby loves that much. <laughs> uh, Georgian fans, they love rugby, they love this sport, and 
We feel like Georgia is a nation, we feel that rugby is our sport. Even though it hasn't been created in Georgia, we have the similar sport, which calls called Delavurti. And it's so natural to us and so, so organic. We can say that it's a um, number one sport in, in Georgia right now. And uh, yeah, that maybe that two games we won in the World Cup, uh, that spread more information by the time and there was more in interest and more kids into it. And uh, to see us winning maybe the RECs and some summer tests, November tests, a few games, not against the Tier 1 nations, but the rest of the games. Yeah, it, it brings lots of hope in, in the people and that's why it's, oh, it's really meaningful for us as a team. To, to represent our country and just as simply as that make them makes them happy makes them hope for the for more uh, many many yeah uh, like youngsters playing children uh, from from the school age uh, when I was uh, eight nine years old there was uh, like 20 years ago there was uh, six or seven clubs for uh, for kids clubs in Tbilisi, five, six clubs. Now it's more than 50, I think. So it talks about everything. Well, it changed a lot, especially after the two victories in uh, two 2015 during the World Cup. Yeah, I think that was a major click for us and for our for our progress as, as country, as rugby country. And since that, the, the biggest thing I, I can see is the young, young generation, actually, because, for example, when I started rugby in my morning group, we were four or five kids. Right now, today, there are 100 or 200 kids in the same group. So that shows uh, the quality we have in, um, in the youth. Everything comes from the national team. If national team plays is good enough, then rugby is popular and everything comes from down. And these youngsters then feed that, so it works on on the same uh, uh, railway or <laughs> I don't know, like pyramid. Like that's it. Uh, on top. There is a national team, which inspires that kid. That kid goes to the to to the training and tries his best to get there. So it works on each other. So. My English sometimes poor, mate. Sorry. I want to explain something, and I'm starting to thinking on Georgian, and then I can't translate, so <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> so I'm sure you understand. <laughs>